Like as soon as these doors open, it's like a rush just take over you and you hop off, run in, come on out. First call of the day, a medical call. It could be one of those tours for Engine 10. Charlie Fenimore. I'm assigned to Truck Company 13, Washington, D.C., in the northeast section of town. Um, I'm actually a technician here. More specifically, I'm a tillerman, which means I operate the back of the aerial ladder. Of course, a lot of guys here transfer in, so they don't get the experience of actually doing their probation here. So, uh, you know, the way that you act as a probationer dictates the way that people treat you here. You're expected to get here bright and early, 4 a.m., get the coffee going, get the breakfast going, do the shopping for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, clean up after everybody, check the apparatus. Pretty much, you know, everything is, is turned over to you for that six month period of time. The platoon conducts their morning check of the truck and all its tools. I've been here since last January. And I uh, was born and raised in Washington, D.C. Yeah, Engine 10, did my probation here. That's where we are today. It wasn't as 
bad for me as it was for other guys, because, you know, guys, they'll, they'll pick on you and everything, but it's, it's all right, man. It's like one big family here, man. You gotta get through it. It's, everybody goes through it, so I had to do the same thing, man. It's, it's no big deal. Another medical call for engine tip, chest pains, and shortness of breath. I might be the, the youngest out of the whole house. I might be the youngest out of the whole house. I think the oldest guy, he might be like 106 here. He's old, very old, but I'm the youngest here, man. Youngest. Two, two years from now, I, I, fortunately, hope, hopefully I have a wagon driver spot. I want to drive, man. I like driving. Uh, maybe moving up in the ranks like everyone else, you know? Build my resume up here, house of pain, I'll be on my way. This portion of this webisode is brought to you by Argus. Engine Ken is called to a nearby fast food restaurant. Woman down. The woman stated that the floor was not protected with the rubber mats and that she had slipped on the tile floor. Female, she fell, slipped, Wait, fell, right hit her time. head in the, in the checkers and everything. Got her bullet, collar, on the way to the hospital. My name is Patrick Banks. I'm a lieutenant with the DC Fire Department. 
Well, I did seven years as a, a firefighter. I got promoted in uh, 2002, did a short period as a sergeant and made lieutenant shortly after that, and I've been here now for a year and a half as a lieutenant. Truck 13 arrives on scene at a local business. Chest pain and shortness of breath. Uh, we arrived, we had a uh, found a lady, possibly late 40s, early 50s, experiencing general weakness. What we did was took a medical history, found out that she had high blood pressure, uh, put her on oxygen, 15 liters per minute, put her on the cot transporter to the closest hospital. Um, I guess there could be several reasons why I became a firefighter. The, the main reason, it, it is a, a family tradition. My father was a retired deputy fire chief from Prince George's County, Maryland. He definitely had a lot of influence. I was in a couple, you know, sales jobs, and it just, it wasn't going, it just was not rewarding enough for me. And uh, I started to volunteer in the fire department, and, uh, you know, it really grew on me, and I, I you know, I grew to love it. Union 10 responds to a food fire at Union Station as backup. But it shows that they're disciplined enough to uh, to follow the orders and follow the guidelines that they're supposed to. What was this call right here? This call was for a fire in the food court at a Union Station. It's a train station in the District of Columbia. Well, the best incident I can remember while I was on my probation in my probationary period was I had a major fire, and it was a lieutenant. He's retired now. His name was Richard Belcher. And uh, he grabbed me by the arm and he said, come on, let's go, rookie. And I looked at this place and uh, it was fully involved in flames. And uh, I questioned him. I said, are you sure? And uh, he looked again and he said, no, I think you have a good point, rookie. And he uh, told the driver to sound the horns and uh, evacuate, had the building evacuated. I always tell my rookies, don't ever think that you're too young or inexperienced where you can't offer me some suggestions that may be helpful in terms of making, um, allowing me to make the right decision. <laughs> 